I love because I think that this part of her that's sort of the thing that Edward can never see mm. because it's the thing that people guard themselves that it actually was able to transfer into not only did it was able to guard you as a person your feelings whatever Bella's feelings you were able to project it and really protect yeah. and guard yeah and seeing that come alive was pretty pretty awesome yeah it's sick I love it. I mean like also I think it's interesting the fact that she's changed while she's giving birth She's a leader of that family. I mean, she's a, like there's she she'll be a mother forever. Do you know what I mean? Even if her daughter grows up and whatever, um, there is that innate caretaking aspect to her. And uh, also, you, you you need to be a, a bit crazy to be in that position as well. To be like, no, I think everything's gonna be okay. You just have to trust it. Um, she's always always given so much stock to her feelings and even if they seem a little crazy in the moment at the end of the day I think she can stand up and go I told you all follow me um, so it's really satisfying um, do you have a favorite moment or scene that you kind of finally got to play out in this last movie um, I think the first hunt is something that I've always really loved um, just to see, kind of like, you're kind of playing a bit of a baby again. Um, and just like it, taking so much in in, in in a matter of a split second. And uh, I didn't really get to jump off a waterfall. I didn't really get to tackle a mountain lion. It was just a big tube of foam, which was just as satisfying to take down, to be honest. But um, but yeah, it was fun. I think, I think probably the first hunt, I think. Uh, it was difficult. That one's a really hard thing to pull off because it's so, I mean, it's like, it's so extreme. But I feel like we, I feel like I got to taste what that would kind of feel like. Um, now that we've had this sort of thing going for so long, obviously I know I think when you signed on to do this movie and it was, Catherine Harbour was making this, you know, $40 million vampire movie, I can't imagine in your wildest dreams it would have become this. Nope. Did you have a moment where you thought, wow, or do you remember what that moment was where you're like, whoa, this is, you know, way beyond right. what I could have imagined? Yeah, I always go back to Comic-Con. The first Comic-Con was so 100% uh, disarming and overwhelming. And, um, you know, because I, I, had done, I had done some movies before Twilight and I knew what it felt like to really love something with a director. I knew what it felt like to really love something with another actor. Like, you you make something together, you're both really moved by it. It's the most amazing feeling. It, it's, you know, if you can like something together or hate something together or find something funny together, it's suddenly a hundred times more uh, rather than just having that experience on your own. And so when I, when we sat, all of us together, in front of 6,000 people or something like that, that energy is the most, I mean, I just, I, I knew that this was not, I, I just, I knew it was gonna get bigger. I was like, this isn't going to just stop. I mean, because it's contagious. That energy is, it's like fire. It catches. And um, I had never seen that before. And I had done a few movies. So uh, probably Comic-Con.